Bunsen burner was uh, made in 1852. It's now necessary in any, every chemistry lab, if you take chemistry lab. Most chemical reactions involve the breaking of, I mean not most, that's what a chemical reaction is, it's breaking and formation of chemical bonds. It takes energy to do that, and that's usually in the form of heat. Endothermic describes a chemical reaction in which energy is absorbed from the surroundings in the form of heat. Thermal energy, heat, is converted to chemical bond energy. It's called endothermic. Cooking is an endothermic chemical reaction. Bring heat in, you change the chemical bond. You're changing the very nature of the substance. Next. This is a study done where they look at a thermalized diet is a cooked diet. Increases oxidative stress, plasma alpha aldehydes, and colonic inflammation in the rat. Next. Thermolysis is a food result in the formation of new products called advanced glycation end products. Of these, Maillard reaction and other chemical byproducts not found in nature, such as acrylamides occur. Okay, next. Maillard reaction is the non-enzymatic browning of foods. It's a chemical reaction between an amino acid and a reducing sugar. It forms a complex of mixture molecules responsible for a range of odors and colors. This is what you smell when you walk in the house and go, ah. It's the browning of toast, of muffins. It's the smell of coffee. It's the coloring. It's the smell of beer. The coloring of beer. It's the, the you know, it's all those things, those flavors and odors that we are addicted to, is the Maillard reaction. Next, it recurs at this temperature. It doesn't occur until all the surface water is vaporized. Therefore, steaming and boiling. Yes, it kills the enzymes, but it does not produce these toxic byproducts. That's why it's the safest. You wouldn't say it's healthy, you would have to say it's the least damaging. It's the least damaging of cooked food. Next. The Maillard. Anyway, they can track it by, by looking at this chemical, pentosidine, uh, in the body. Anyway, it's also correlated with aging. In fact, there's the, quote, free radical theory of aging unquote, which has a lot of merit to it. And basically, you get free radicals from eating. And uh, that's, why, that's why we see uh, it's not uncommon for uh, a 55-year-old male to sit down at a barbecue on Sunday and two hours later fall over dead. But he went to the doctor on Friday, everything was fine. His EKG was normal. Next, please. The Maillard reaction is responsible for formation of potent mutagenic and carcinogenic heterocyclic aromatic amines in heated meat and fish. A sparagine-mediated Maillard reaction is known to lead to the neurotoxin acrylamide. Acrylamide is in everything baked. Baked potatoes, bread, etc. have acrylamides. It's a neurotoxin. So if you're really interested in getting, uh, improving your chances of getting Alzheimer's, go for it. Next, please. Acrylamide. And it also is a risk for cancer. The National Toxicology Program blah, 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 has said that it's a probable human carcinogen. Probable. Now, you see, in, in, in order to get something published in a scientific journal, you have to use the word probable. Okay? So, here it is. Guy holds a gun up, pulls the trigger. The probable cause of death, death was the gunshot wound. Then you can get that published. If you say it caused it. Okay, so it's a probable human, even though it's carcinogenic to everything else. Probable. Because humans, remember, we're not part of nature. That's why nothing's valid until you do human studies. Okay, the browning of meats. Toasted bread, biscuits, malted barley, or spirits, fried foods like onions and french fries, roasted coffee, color of beer, the burner surface, crust of many heated foods, Maillard, flavor and coloring, flavor and coloring. Next. Here is our favorite flavoring. It's called caramel. And this is what it really is. It's the most common. It's almost in everything you buy. And here's what it did. It caused lung, liver, thyroid, cancers, leukemia. Problem. Maybe will affect you. We don't know because we're not part of nature, so we're not sure. Next, please. And next. Oh, back again. I want to show you one thing. In this study here, 
they did something very interesting. They took out all the oxygen out of it and they just heated it up because they wanted to remove the possibility that any of the reaction happening in the food was due to oxidation. So they took all the oxygen out and they just heated it up and they found the same thing. So it's not oxidation. That's another thing. Next, please. So a thermalized diet, it means a cooked diet, produces transketolasis, reduced glutathione, produces alpha oxoaldehydes, oxidative stress biomarkers, increased macrophage, inflammation. Next. So crypt, crypts are those little pockets in the, in the colon. Uh, anyway, the, the AGE, the, you know, the Maillard and all that stuff, they interact with that. They produce a tumor necrosis factor alpha, etc. Nitro, ni, ni, nitrotyrosine is formed by the reaction of tyrosine and blah, blah. Anyway, you get all these things, you wind up getting cancer. It's just the way it is. So yeah. So when people say, well, can I just? Sure. You can smoke too, do a little coke on the weekend. Sure. Absolutely. No problem. You won't achieve your goal of optimal functioning. And what we have to do is we have to be realistic. We have to get to the point where we're going to be. You right now want to do 100%. I want you to view it as you're standing on a burning building. And there's another building there. Are you going to jump 80% of the way or 90%? No, you're going to probably jump 120%. Once you get there, you can then play around. So we got to get off this burning building so it's 100%. But after you get to the other building, which is health, then you can play around a little bit. You can start to compromise 80, 20, et cetera, 80% raw, 20% cooked. But right now, you want to get to that building. If you know that, if we we're talking about what cooking does, I mean, it's not, this is not just a new age hippie thing. This is real science. 